Hey guys, welcome to another Excel in 60 plus second screencast. And today we're looking at how we can apply conditional formatting icons to text. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look over at our legend. So you'll see that we applied a number one to show us complete, a zero as on target, and then negative one as behind. So let's take a look at our data set. We're going to select that data set. And if we were to look at project number one, you'll see that we've applied a one. So what should happen after we apply our number formatting is one will be displayed as complete. And then we'll move forward and show you how to do the uh, conditional number formatting. So let's hit control plus one now that we've selected our data set. It's going to bring up the format cells. We're then going to go to the category section and we're going to select custom. Over on the right hand side, I'm going to actually scroll down because I've already added in some syntax that handles this. And you'll see that we've got first the complete value. And that complete value is going to be displayed only if the value in the cell is a positive number. So in our case, a one. So anything before the first semicolon in custom number formatting syntax is going to be a positive number. After that first semicolon, you're going to have the negative numbers. So anything that's a negative number in our case is going to show up as behind and then finally anything that is a zero value is going to show up on target so anything that is in quotation marks in our syntax and custom number formatting is going to show up strictly as text so let's now go down to OK and you'll see that all of those values have been applied to our statuses to match so now we're going to go to conditional number formatting I'm sorry conditional formatting and then we're going to click on new rule. We're going to slide down to format style here. Select icon sets. And we're going to change the type to number. And in this case, any value that is one or greater than one is going to show up in green and is also going to show up with the status based on our number formatting of complete. So now that we've done that, we're going to select the type, go to number again on the second icon set and that's going to show any value that is less than one but greater than or equal to zero so literally anything that's equal to zero is going to show up on target and will be in yellow so any value of zero is going to be on target and then any value that is less than zero is going to show up uh, in red and then also as behind based on our number formatting that we set prior to this so now that we hit OK you'll see that everything gets updated accordingly and we are ready to go so thank you for joining me today and if you have any more inclination to actually check out more tips and tricks check me out at bradegger.com we'll see you next time